So by far the biggest mystery in Dragon Ball Super is without a doubt Monaka. This guy has people divided as to how powerful he will actually be. It honestly feels like 50% of Dragon Ball fans are saying that he will be the most powerful being we've ever seen, with transformations rivaling Beerus himself, while the other 50% think the absolute opposite. Up until now, it was hard to get any idea onto who Monaka actually was. However, with all the new information revealed in the last few days, I'm going to be giving you three separate ideas. Ideas that will give you a different perspective as to Monaka's true character. The most popular theory is that Monaka was a past god of destruction, and I don't want to touch on this for too long because there's not much else to say. There isn't a lot of proof out there to suggest that this could be the case, however I will say the main reason I wanted to cover this is because I feel like it leads on to another, more possible theory. So just to give some context, Beerus was sweating at the thought of anyone besides Whis knowing Monaka's true identity. He says that if Monaka is disturbed, even to a slight extent, entire planets will be wiped out. However, that does not explain why why Beerus doesn't want anyone to know who he actually is. This is where the theory comes in of Monaka being from another universe, and the reason Beerus doesn't want anyone to know who he is is because if they find out, Team Beerus would undoubtedly be disqualified. And even though that in itself isn't sufficient evidence, if we're going to be getting more stories after the tournament, I can totally see Monaka coming from a different universe, let's just say Universe 5, being used as a gateway into other universes. Moving on to the next theory, this actually relates all the way back to the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament. Now just a heads up, this is totally far-fetched, and to be honest, I don't think this is as plausible as Monaka being from another universe, but I do want to bring up the comparison. For those of you who remember the days of Dragon Ball, in the 23rd tournament specifically, there was a contestant known as Shen. This guy was an ordinary man, however the only reason he made it into the semi-finals was because he was being controlled by Kami. And I know it's a stretch and most likely not going to happen, but we could be possibly seeing something similar here. Based off his design, Monaka does not look like a fighter, and maybe with Beerus wanting to catch the Universe 6 team off guard with his appearance, he could have connections with gods from Universe 1 through 12, and have them possess Monaka's body just for the sake of winning the tournament. Now like I said, this idea is most likely not going to happen, however the comparison between Shen and Monaka needed to be mentioned. The final theory is something that I do not want to believe, however a lot of people are behind this. It is the idea that Monaka is not strong. Going back to the end of the fight between Goku and Beerus, the weird thing about it is that in Battle of Gods, Beerus says that Goku is the strongest person he has ever fought besides Whis. However, in Dragon Ball Super that is not mentioned by Beerus at all. Either way, there are a few reasons that support Monaka not being as powerful as Beerus says. When Goku was fighting Botamo, he fought a Kamehameha wave. According to Whis, Monaka passed out at the very sight of the blast. Whis brought this up in front of Beerus and he freaked out. He told Goku just to forget about it and honestly, as much as I don't want to believe it for obvious reasons, I'm starting to think that Monaka is going to be used purely to keep Goku and Vegeta on their toes. If he really did pass out at the side of a Kamehameha, then I don't have much hope for him at all. The only thing is that there would be no reason at all for Beerus to have gotten someone who is weak. We saw Monaka tank a punch from Goku when they first met, but until he actually steps into fight, we're not going to have a 100% clear idea idea of how strong he actually is. Beerus does say that he will reveal Monaka's secret at the end of the tournament, and who knows, maybe if he is as weak as people say, let's say Goku and Vegeta clean up for Universe 7, Beerus could use Monaka to taunt Shampa if he wins, as he hasn't even used his final fighter. Anyway, that has been the three Monaka theories that I could think of, let me know what you think this guy has in store, but as always, I will see you in the next Dragon Ball Z video.